Hey, what's up guys? I'm Mr. Andrew from the Sertoma Unit, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to put your videos together through this editing program so you can make your own movies at home. We are using KineMaster, this app that should be available on iPads, iPhones, and Android devices. Let's get right into this, and we're going to press that plus button right in the middle. Now with this aspect ratio, the 16 to 9 is what I recommend, which is whenever you hold your phone sideways and record that way, it'll give you this ratio. There is not a crime for holding your phone vertically, however it does result in skinny videos and just doesn't look as good as a 16 to 9. All mine are recorded that way, so we're going to select that ratio. So with this, you're going to see at the very bottom here is your timeline, all this area down here. This red bar with the zeros above it is your playhead. That's just going to tell you where you are in your video. Up at the top left here is your undo button. In case you make a mistake, just tap that once and it will get you right back to where you were. If you accidentally uh, undo something, you can press the redo right below it. Other options down there need not worry about. We're going to stick with just the basics. Over here, you have your media button, which we're going to get to to import the videos that I recorded. And you'll have options here if your phone separates them into different categories. Mine here is in camera. I know what order I'm going to put my videos in. I highly recommend recording your movie in order, and it's going to make bringing them into your timeline a lot easier so you aren't guessing what order they should be in. I have mine selected, so I'm just going to import them that way. Alright, I used one clip twice because I wanted that camera angle again, but at a different time. So notice I'm scrubbing down here. Scrubbing is just moving along your timeline. I'm scrubbing down here. Here's my beginning. If I scrub all the way to the end, it says it's 4 minutes and 17 seconds. That's really long, and we do not want a video that long. Maybe your videos at home will end up like that, but mine does not need to be that long. All these clips are in slow motion, so we're just going to get right to cutting these down, because each clip I'll probably only use around 5 to 10 seconds of. Probably less than that. We're going to click that down arrow at the top right hand of our screen, and notice your big screen now has a clips that you brought into your timeline. So whenever you click on a on a clip, you just tap it, the yellow bar lets you know it's selected, and all your options are over here. This is a quick tutorial, so I'm going to stick with just the basics. You have your scissors, which are going to allow you to trim to the right or left, depending on where your playhead is, or, oops, or you have your speed, which is how you're going to speed that up, or slow it down. Anything to the left of one here is going to slow it down, anything to the right is going to speed it up. We don't need that until later. Anything else, you really don't need to worry about. Like I said, we're sticking to the basics. So I'm going to quickly go through this, so try to stick up. I'm going to keep this as short as possible. Right here, I clicked the clip, and I clicked the scissors here, and I'm going to trim to the left and get rid of that. Notice I can't scrub any further than the yellow bar because it's still selected, but I'm not done finishing the trimming on this just yet. I have a certain spot where I'm going to put it, right where my heel is, and I'm going to trim everything to the right of it. Alright, now I can unselect that clip, and on to my next one. Again, I'm going to put it right where I left off on the other one, which is where my foot was down, select my clip, the scissors, mm -hmm. trim to the left. Unselect that, and I'm going to press play just to make sure it's smooth. And that looks smooth to me. I'm going to go to the next spot where I want to edit. And right there. Going to select my clip. Going to put my scissors. And trim to the right. Unselect. Notice how any time I want that specific spot, I leave that red line exactly where I want it. And then I select it. Mm -hmm. So, where I left off was when my foot was about to hit the ball. So, we're going to put it right there. Select, scissors, trim to the left. Unselect. 
And this one's gonna be short because my next camera angle is gonna take off right from there. So I select, scissors, trim to the right. It's gonna get really simple once you get used to this and you're gonna be a pro in no time. This was the same clip I had at the beginning, but again, I wanted a different camera angle. Select, scissors, and trim to the left. Unselect. I'm gonna play through that just to make sure it's smooth. And that is smooth for me. My next clip is from behind, and I'm gonna match it right when my foot goes down. Select, scissors, trim to the right. Unselect. And from here, again, we're gonna put it where my foot went down to match where I left off from the other clip. Select, scissors, trim to the left. Unselect, and we're gonna play through that to make sure it's smooth. And that looks perfectly good to me. Now, all we've done so far is trimming to the left and right of our clips, but if you wanted to speed that up, remember you select your clip and we have our speed option. And they have some presets with the four times as fast or eight times, or like earlier, as I said, you can scrub along here and make it a specific length. Obviously, the faster you go, you're gonna see your clip get shorter. Slower you go, you're gonna see it get longer. I'm gonna go with four times the speed and leave it with that. And I'm gonna unselect. And you're gonna notice when I play this, it's gonna look a little choppy. That's how it's gonna be anytime you're editing. It's not gonna be perfect in the timeline, but when you export it out, it'll look perfectly fine. So we have everything taken care of so far besides audio. I do not have music uh, with the clips, but I had a trick to get music. I used a screen recorder that is already built into my phone. You can get one off the app store, and I just looked up some dramatic music on Spotify and recorded it, and then it was its own video that you're gonna see in one second. So it's the video and the audio, but we only need the audio. So let me show you how to do that. Earlier we clicked above and we clicked on media. Now we're gonna click on layer. Oops, one too many clicks. We're gonna click on layer. This is gonna allow us down in our timeline here to put it at going the same time as all of these. Because if I imported it with the media, it would either add onto the end here or add in the beginning and I want it to go all along below at the same time as these clips. You'll see. We're gonna click layer, media, and then I have it already in a screen recorder tab, and we're gonna click that. Now notice, see how it's below all these clips going at the same time as them? However, we don't need that video. We just want its audio. So, just as you see, this yellow bar down here indicates that it's selected and in your options you're going to scroll down and you're going to extract the audio and that's going to put a green bar below it now we have our audio clip at the very bottom you can do audio options there i'm not going to touch it but we don't need our video anymore so we can delete that and we still have our audio Pretty sick. So that's my trick to getting music in. If it's copyrighted music though, you may not be able to post it to social media. It depends on what the song is. Now that you've got your music in and your video looks perfect, we have one final step. You're gonna select near the top right of your screen is gonna take you to your main menu. Kind of back where we started and you're gonna see I have it here untitled. We're just gonna select that. This is a project we just worked on. So all of the edits are with it. That little pencil would take us right back into editing. But we're done with it. You're gonna see this option right to the right of play and that's gonna be for exporting. Here, don't worry about your resolution and frame rate. Honestly, keep it as high as you possibly can. Don't worry about all the other options there. Here, if you're running out of space on your phone, as you scrub this from low to high, you're gonna see that number at the bottom uh, where it says about so many megabytes, you're gonna see it get smaller the lower quality you put it. If you need to save space on your device, you can compromise a little bit. I have the space, so I'm gonna keep it as high quality as I can. 
Then I'm going to click export. You don't have to worry about paying for it. We don't mind the watermarks. Keep the watermark or pay as you wish. We're going to skip. And it's going to finish exporting. When it's done, you'll see it in your device gallery. That's all I have for you today. Those were the basics. I hope you feel comfortable messing with this wonderful and free video editor. If you make a movie, post it down in the comments. We would love to see what you guys came up with. It can be anything from adventures with your pets, to Nerf gun battles, to a cooking show, anything your creative mind desires. Put it down in the comments below and I would love to see those.